In five minutes, I'm going to try and answer the question, what is the church? And our time starts now. And you're probably thinking, I do not need to watch a five minute video to find out what a church is. I already know what a church is. It's one of these, right? Well, actually, you would be wrong. At least that is not what Jesus thought the church was. It's not how he described it. And I want us to look at a passage in the Bible, uh, which is a bit hard to get your head around at first, but I'm going to explain it stage by stage and you'll see a very different take on the church. Here it is. As you come to him, that's Jesus, as people come to Jesus, a living stone, I'll explain that in a moment, rejected by men, but in the sight of God, chosen and precious, you yourselves, like living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house. Now, um, in the first part of the Bible, in the Jewish scriptures, the temple was a real building. It was made out of real stones. But here, describing the church, it says it's a spiritual building, a spiritual house made of living stones. What is he talking about? It, it means that the church is made not of bricks and mortar, but out of people. We are, Christians are, the living stones. And when I was at school, we used to learn a little rhyme. This is at primary school, and it went like this. Um, here is the church, here is the steeple, look inside and hear all the people. You know, endless hours of entertainment as a six-year-old playing with that. But actually, that is it's kind of wrong. It should go, look inside, here is the church, you know, the people of the church. And that is just a building that happens to have a steeple. All, all the churches, it's just a, a very beautiful, in some cases, building. But the people inside are the church. That's what Jesus meant by it. We are a spiritual house made of living stones. And the church is built, Peter says, as we come to Jesus, who was the living stone. It's a way of describing Jesus as the foundation for our lives. The church is the community that is built on Jesus Christ and his death and resurrection. Now, at this point, we've got a decision to make because a lot of people say, I don't want to be part of that. Um, it's not just that I'm not interested in organs and stained glass windows. That was the reason I wasn't very into church as a, as a teenager. But some people say, I'm not into church because I'm not into Jesus. You know, if the church is the building that has Jesus as its foundation, I'm not interested. Thanks very much. But Peter says, well, look, if Jesus isn't your foundation, the alternative um, is this. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. In other words, Jesus gets to be the foundation, even though people rejected him. That's a reference to Jesus' resurrection. People rejected Jesus and they killed him, but he came back from the dead and he became the foundation of God's building project. And he goes on to say, Jesus will be a stone of stumbling and a rock of offence. In other words, here's the choice you've got. Either you come to Jesus and build your life on him and be part of this community called the church, or you come to Jesus and you stumble at him. You trip up when you come to him. That, those are the choices. If we come to Jesus and we build our lives on him, we become part of the church. And then Peter describes what that means for us in this last paragraph. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. The church isn't a group of people who think they've got life sorted. The church is a group of people who realize that they need mercy. They need forgiveness from Jesus. As one of my friends described, the trouble is with a society whose entrance requirement is the need for mercy, is all sorts of people are gonna get in. If you find members of the Christian Union annoying, maybe they are annoying people. Um, if you find that they've let you down, well, yeah, they're people who let others down. And the church is not for righteous people, people who think they got life sorted. It's for people who come to Jesus and say, I need your mercy. And on the basis of that, they build their lives on him into a spiritual house, a building made of people, God's people. Thanks for watching.